Hello guys, Valentine Ose here for Graded Picture Playground. If this is your first time on this channel, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to get notified when new video is uploaded. In this tutorial, I want to show you the transform effect, how it is used. The transform effect has the same features like the motion settings of any clip that you place on your timeline, just as you have this. These are the video effects on the motion part. The transform effect has the features that are contained in your motion part. So these are the informations. If you want to create animation in your videos, so these are the information that are also contained in transform effects. So to locate the transform effect, you come to your effects and under the search, you type transform. So you get it. So if you don't type it, you can get it under your video effects, this dot, and you get your transform effect there. So you apply it to the clip that you want to transform. Let me open the motion parts to get the information. So you see you have your position here. You have the scale, the rotation, the arco point, the anti-flicker filter. The transform effect, this is it. You have arco point, you have your position, you have your scale, and other features like the skew, the skew as is, rotation, opacity, the shooter angle where is necessary you use the transform effect is because of this shutter angle so it's advisable when you want to create animation with your video use the transform effect that is present in your distort under the video effect in your premiere pro or cc I will create a minor example. I will come to my video and I will pick this object which I created with the legacy title. If you've not seen the video on how to create simple object with the legacy title, you can click the card icon to see that tutorial. If you want to apply effect to it, come to that transform and pick that transform and place it on it. First thing first, we want to get it off screen you can come to your position and just push it off then you have it as negative 554 to go off screen you come to the beginning of your clip and you make your keyframe then move some frame forward make it 960. let's play back you see that is it. This is how you use the transform key. The natural blur effect, if you want to apply the blur effect, you uncheck this boss, write in 180. 180 is for natural blur, and you click enter. When you come to the beginning again, you play, you see it now has motion blur. So to make it a bit faster, you can take the keyframe closer, then you have this. You can use the transform effect instead of using the motion effects that are present in the video properties. When we start creating other tutorials on how to use your keyframe and how to animate certain objects, we will be applying the transform effect. I hope you understand this tutorial and why it is important to use the transform effect. When you use your transform effect, it gives you lots of control on like the default motions that are present in your video properties if you like this video give it a thumbs up share and subscribe to this channel for other tutorials i am valentine Ose. see you in our next tutorial